Oh, I had a Hindu wedding because my husband is Hindu. <laughs> The ceremony was just an um, hour and a half and we invited people for the reception. Pretty much every year I plan 20 to 25 weddings. People have started realizing that they need a wedding planner and um, planning a wedding it's not easy when you have like 400, 500, 700 people guest count and doing everything with the Indian tradition and the American way they need a wedding planner the traditional ones, two hours, three hours of ceremony. Over here, people don't have patience. We have captured the very important parts of the ceremony, which are very, very, you know, uh, religious and which means a lot. The most important element is the fire. So they do the circles around the fire, and that's kind of taking a vow. During the ceremony, there is a very traditional music, which is called Shehnai. It's an instrument. It's played, it's very soothing, but once the priests start talking, usually there's no music. Definitely Hindu religion is more tolerant, more forgiving. So most of the time we have seen that they do the, both the kind of ceremony, Hindu ceremony and if, you know, non-Hindu ceremony too. All the expense of the ceremony usually bears by the bride's family. As the tradition, parents pretty much save the money since the child is born for their wedding. Most of the religious things and all, we, I always advise that let the parents bear the cost and something what they want fancier stuff, you guys go ahead and spend your own doing the fancy centerpieces or having an elephant for their barat because their weddings are pretty large. They have six, seven hundred guest count and it's very hard to find the venues. Food is very important for the Indian ceremonies. So most of the venues, they have their own in-house caterer and they do not let us bring the Indian caterer or traditional food. So those places are not going to work for us. Because there is a huge market, they have accepted and they have been allowing us to bring the Indian caterers. They let us do the fire ceremony, even though we need the fire permit from the city. Very, very interestingly now I see is bride and groom don't want the hotels. So we need to look for something different and in those area we look for the wineries, art galleries, mansions. Those are very different and very interesting venue. We need the doll players or some kind of DJ or music going on in the Bharat comes. And Indian culture is very different. When I have a non-Indian bride or non-Indian groom, I always tell them you are not just marrying a bride or your groom, you're marrying an entire family. Most of the American wedding, florist works with just the bride or a groom. But in an Indian wedding, you'll be working with the parents of groom and the bride and the bride and groom. Most of the Hindu wedding happens on Saturday just because it's a weekend and it works for everybody. We have the Hindu calendar. The priest looks at the calendar and he gets the date and time. Traditionally, there is at least three or four ceremonies before the wedding ceremony. We usually have the mandi ceremony where the brides get it done, the mandi, henna. Sangeet is considered that celebration, dancing. So most of the time it's a previous night. Other traditional ceremonies are considered the Ganesh Puja. Ganesh, Lord Ganesh is the, is the guard of the celebration. We usually don't have the rehearsal. We can rehearse. In Hindu ceremony is the spontaneous. My package and my prizes are based on hours, venue, and guest count. Hey. How are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Nice to see you. Me too. So we have all set right for there. you guys out there. Okay, so we're going to set up. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Great, great, great. Good to see you. Make sure you don't run on my <laughs> runner. <laughs> no problem. You guys came from the wrong side, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Traditionally, we never had a sit-down dinner. You can never manage 3,000 people with the sit-down dinner or, you know, assigned seating. Over here, they all try for the sit-down dinner, assigned seating, you know, even with the 600, 700 people. I need to keep things on time. Because the, already that program is running late. I mean, 7.30 cocktail hour. We are serving dinner at 10. They have speeches, thank you, and some Indian performances because as everybody knows, the whole entire family is involved. Cake was never part of the Indian culture. It's all came from the England. 
they start thinking about the theme once they hire the planner and once we start talking. It's more for the decoration, it's more for the ambience. So let's say if somebody have the theme of elephant, we have done the sculptures of elephant. We can print those elephant symbols on the invitations. Average cost is Indian wedding is like around sixty to seventy thousand dollars. You can use the drummers for the welcoming bride and groom inside. I get a call at ten o'clock in the night from the bride. Hey, this is the problem. It's just heard. I have a Shaleen, Shalini, Shal, Shala. <laughs> so you know, you just get lost. I'm very proud to be a wedding planner. I think you can be a wedding planner too.